Hello and welcome back to another video. As I'm sure you could see by the thumbnail picture, today we have an iPad second generation on a pretty rare version of iOS. So I've got the device here in the box. Let's get this thing opened up and make sure that it is exactly what I ordered. Let's begin. Okay, here is the iPad 2, and it looks like the one that I ordered. It's a 32 gigabyte white model. It does have some pretty deep scratches up here, but apart from that, it looks to be in good condition. The screen does not have any cracks, and I'm not noticing any deep scratches. Maybe right here, you can kind of see that on camera. That's the only one. Let's see if this thing has any charge. And it does, and we are greeted with the old style Apple logo, which is a good sign. This iPad should be on iOS 4. I don't remember which version of iOS 4. We'll have to find out once this turns on. Here we go. Let's get that unlocked. This is definitely iOS 4. You can tell because it has the iPod for music instead of music. And... There's no messages on here, which was introduced in iOS 5. Let's look at what version we have specifically. 4.3.5. That is kind of the common version to find with these. If, uh, if you can call these common. But this was about $65 with shipping. And while that is high for an iPad second generation in 2023, I think that's a pretty good deal considering how hard these are to find. And I have had several second gen iPads on iOS 4, but I think this is my first 32 gigabyte white model. And this one is in good condition. The battery is fully charged. So a little background, the iPad 2 improved in a lot of ways upon the original iPad. It is much thinner and has a flat back, so when you set it down, it doesn't rock back and forth when you touch it, which is something the first generation iPad uh, kind of struggled with. Uh, this was the first iPad to feature a FaceTime camera as well as a rear camera. They were pretty bad. I believe they're the same cameras that you would find on an iPad, sorry, iPod Touch fourth generation and they appear to be working fine. We've got an iPod Classic over there and an iPhone 3GS over there. This iPad for a long time was Apple's most popular device and it remained supported on iOS updates all the way until iOS 9, which was released alongside the launch of the iPhone 6S in 2015, I believe. So this thing got uh, it came with iOS 4, and it got an update to iOS 5, iOS 6, 7, 8, 9. Five updates, and that was a long time for devices back then, considering the first few iPhones only saw two, three, four um, updates, years of updates. This iPad was sold all the way up alongside the iPad Air, believe it or not, you could actually buy the iPad Air for $500, and you could get this for $400. That is a huge difference, especially comparing the dual-core A5 chip that this has with the 64-bit A7 chip that the iPad Air came with. That just goes to show how robust this device was. And it, um, it served a lot of people well. These were popular in schools for a long time and many many people had an iPad 2 and kept them for a long time and I think that is partially the reason they remained supported through iOS 9 was just the sheer amount of individuals, businesses, schools and so on that had an iPad 2. 
Here we've actually got the preview for the Super Mario Bros. movie that is working just fine in the iTunes store. That kind of surprised me. Now let's check out the App Store and see if that loads and if we can explore any of the applications and games that the iOS 4 App Store is able to load for us. And the stuff it looks like it's coming in nicely. We can't get iBooks without an Apple ID. Let's see what happens if we click on one of these. How about Minecraft? That's a popular one. And wow, believe it or not, this actually loaded in. It's got all the details about the latest update and even the images are here. That's pretty amazing. I'm really impressed and surprised that it's able to load this on such an old version of iTunes or uh, the App Store. Let's try Safari. This one historically has not done very well for me. We can try Apple's website. Usually parts of it load. Some of the stuff is in the wrong place. And we can see the new MacBook Air shows up, but it looks like nothing else is gonna be there. That's okay, I wouldn't recommend using this as a browser anyway. One thing I always love about the old versions of iOS is the amount of wallpapers. Not necessarily the amount, but I just feel like they all look good. Maybe that's just a nostalgia factor, but um, we'll go ahead and click this one which is one of my favorites. Now that I've got the wallpaper set back to the same one that shipped on the original iPad, I think it's a good time to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I certainly have been looking forward to getting this iPad. Specifically, this one is Pretty cool, and iOS 4 is a unique version of iOS that this device runs really well. As far as I know, it's the only Apple A5 chip device that ran iOS 4. Uh, the 4S launched later in 2011 with iOS 5. So this being the only A5 chip on iOS 4, this is ultimately the best experience you can possibly get. Uh, on any of the pre-iCloud, iMessage versions of iOS. So thanks for watching, and let me know down below if you had an iPad 2, or if you've still got it, and if anybody has one on a rare version, any version of iOS that is not iOS 9, because as we all know, that is the easiest one to get. So thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one.